alikuwa kijana mcheshi, mchangamfu, mtundu na mwenye kupenda michezo. Alikuwa na ndoto kubwa maishani hadi pale changamoto zilipomkabili. Wilson's disease, ugonjwa unaosababishwa na wingi wa madini ya shaba wenye kuathiri ubongo na viungo mbali mbali vya mwili. Huu ndio ugonjwa anaubeba Irfan Karmali kwa miaka 15 sasa. sasa. Pamoja na cha... Pamoja na changamoto anazopitia, Irfan ni mpiga picha. Hakuacha ugonjwa huu urudishe nyuma maisha yake. Na hii ndio story yake. Ndio story yake. Habari Tanzania na ito Nutrisha Pamba na hii ni exclusive interview. Leo sipo peke yangu nipo na mtu ambaye yeye ni mpiga picha. Wanaita photographer. Jina yake ni Irfan Karmali. Lakini Irfan yeye anaunguliwa na ugonjwa anaita Wilson's disease. Huu ni ugonjwa ambao watu wengi hamufahamu kwa sababu watu wengi hamko aware na magonjwa ambayo ni very rare. Kati ya watu 35 hapa nchini au duniani ni mtu mmoja tu ambaye anakuwa na ugonjwa na ugonjwa huu. Huu ugonjwa unatokana na kuwa na uwingi au nasema richness kwenye madini ya shaba mwilini. Lakini kutokana na effects ambazo Irfan anakuwa nazo, tumeamua tuungane na kaka yake anaitwa Nur Karim Kamari ambaye yeye atakuwa anamuongelea yeye kwa undani zaidi. Nikukaribisha katika interview hii. Karibuni sana Irfan na Nur Karmari. I'll call you Nur. Kwenye this interview. Karibuni sana. Asante. Ah, Nur labda unaweza kutuambia unaweza ukamu describe Irfan kivipi? Describe him. He's uh he should be idolized. Yeah. In one word if we can say that because uh he's gone through a lot in his life and uh, he has shown uh, everyone that uh, hope believe in faith is what you need yeah. to live your life he did not uh, lose his hope after the sickness he was totally disabled yeah. and uh, he recovered to what we can say 95% and uh, I should I should say that uh, in one word he's an idol. Yeah. We all need to actually idolize him because uh, that is what uh, he's actually taught us that with this condition he's uh, doing a photography that is a good job. Yeah. Is comparable to many photographers. I cannot say that he's he's better than them. But uh, he's good. He's good, yeah. <laughs> so, in one word, yes. <laughs> Irfan yeah. ana miaka thirty-nine saba sasa. Yeah. Um, alipata ubunjo huo kwenye mika mingapi na ilikuwa jana yeye kama familia mli poki ya VP. Yeye hiyo ubunjo alipata elfu mbili na mbili. Mhm. Akiwa umri wa miaka shina ngapi? Shina moja. Shina moja. Yeah. And uh, baada ya kujua kwa sababu hapa Tanzania au Kenya hamna mtu aliweza kugundua ana tatizo gani. So India ndio sehemu ambapo tulikuja kujua kwamba ana shida gani. Yeah. Tukaja kuambiwa kwamba ana excess of copper in his body. Shaba ilizidi. Normally mwili wetu inakuwa na 0 to 75 mg of copper yake ilifika 2500 oh. which was very, very excess high. Yeah, yeah very high so doctor alisema kwamba good part is that uh, it can be reduced by medication yeah. so tulipokea hiyo taarifa kwa moyo mgumu sana ilitumiza sana kwa sababu tuliambiwa kwamba hii ugonjwa inatokea kati ya watu 1035 mmoja anakuja kupata hiyo ugonjwa yeah. na tuliambiwa pia sisi wenyewe as family pia lazima tuicheck kwa sababu hiyo ugonjwa ni inheritable okay. inatokea kwa mtu ambaye alikuwa anayo kwenye familia Kamibia. But unfortunately sisi kwenye familia tulikuwa hakuna mtu tunayo ugonjwa. 
we don't know if our late late grandfather kama alikuwa anayo so tulipokea kwa shida sana hiyo lakini kama sisi tungekuwa tume tume kwa week yeah. na yeye asingeweza kutoka yeah. so we made ourselves strong so that he is able to come out yeah. hali ilikuja kwa sababu mkaamua kwanza kwa mpima aliyezaje kuumwa yani ugonjwa wake ilitokea ghafla ghafla tu hiyo ugonjwa ni kwamba ghafla tukaanza kuona speech yake imeanza ku, kuwa blur mm-hmm. uweze kumpata na chungia akawa anapata mara mara kwa mara ana anaanguka you know? nguvu inaisha mwilini mara unashangaa mikono zinatetemeka mm-hmm. so sisi tumeenda same zote kumpimisha kwa daktari tukawa tunaambiwa hakuna kitu hakuna Haki kitu ito. lakini 2002 ndio tukagundua sasa na mikono zimeanza kukataa kufanya kazi miguu so tukapata tunamshukuru Mungu kwamba uwezo wa kumpeleka tulikuwa tunalo. Yeah. Na tukaweza kumpeleka. Ndio pale tukaje kujua kwamba ana ugonjwa mwanaitwa Wilson's disease. Yeah. Kitu ambacho hata sisi tulikuwa hatujawahi kuisikia, tulikuwa hatujawahi kuisikia. Yeah. Uh, ni kwa ile kwanza ugonjwa hata mwenyewe mara kwanza alimwenyangia na Wilson's yeah. disease. Uh, what is Wilson's disease? So yeah. it's it's a it's a disease that is very rare. Yeah. It's very rare kukutana na mtu ambaye ana ugonjwa kama huu. Sasa wewe kama kaka yake ambaye umezaliwa wote. Irfan alikuwaaje kama mtoto? Kabla haja hajapatwa na matatizo haya. Unaweza ukasema if alikuwa ni mtoto wa namna gani? Kwa sababu hata alipopata alikuwa bado yuko kwenye ndio ametoka yeah. kwenye teenagers na anaingia kwenye adulthood. Alikuwa anapenda nini? Alikuwa very active in sports. Nice. Yeah, very good uh, table tennis player. He was a good cricket player. Oh, wow. And uh, he used to play volleyball, traditional volleyball. And uh, alikuwa fujo sana. <laughs> alikuwa na utundu wake. So and uh, alikuwa a big competitor na mimi kwenye table tennis. Yeah kasa mimi pia nilikuwa napenda table tennis. tennis yeah. yeah so very big competitor against me na the biggest uh, rivalry between me and him is uh, yeye alikuwa ni mshabi kwa Manchester United na mimi mshabi kwa Liverpool still still still, still the same yeah <laughs> so alikuwa kama mtundu sana lakini alikuwa mtoto anayependwa yeah utundu wake sio wa kuharibu utundu wake ulikuwa utundu wa kawaida yeah so he was enjoying his life there was nothing he used to love going to gym uh, he used to hang around with friends and he's very quick in making friends yeah very quick in making friends apart from me mimi kidogo he was very reserved yeah, yeah. but uh, he's uh, the social and the yeah. social butterfly yeah. of the family so many of his friends nimekuja kuwajua kwa sababu ya yeye yeah na shule shule alienda wapi alikuwa amesoma na mimi St Constantine International School Arusha mm-hmm. alafu tukamaliza pale tukaenda kusomea Arusha Meru Secondary School mm-hmm. to tukaja kumaliza all levels na ile kwa zetu pale alikuwa mtoto what was his dreams alikuwa anatamani kuwa nani has he always seen himself as a photographer or he ni kwa photography ni kitu ambacho ame develop akiwa mkubwa ni. No, photography ame develop wakati amejua hiyo hiyo anayo ndani yake. Passion anayo ndani yake. Alikuwa hana hiyo passion zamani. Yeah. Zamani passion yake ilikuwa kuwa businessman. His all heart was being a businessman because we both idolized our father. Yeah. Our father was a very hard working man. So we all idolized him that we want to be like him. Uh Unfortunately with him because of his condition he became like this but I followed the footsteps of my father. Yeah. Yeye ni baada ya hiyo ugonjwa ndio because he could not do anything and he always wished to do something. Yeah. Yeye hakujua alikuwa na hiyo talent ndani yake. Hiyo talent amekuja kujua baadaye. Baadaye. Kwamba yes, kumbe hii ni na talent hiyo ya kupiga picha na alikuwa anapiga picha na simu ya kawaida. Yeah. Na akawa ananionyesha kwamba bana, umeona hii picha bana? Nikasema bana, 
wewe unapiga zaidi ya kama inapiga vizuri nikasema basi safiri chagua kamera ambayo unayotaka yeah. start something from that this is how ye yeah, akapata encouragement kwamba bana kama kaka yangu anani anani encourage kwa nini nisifanye so this is how his journey of photography started yeah like to me anunua cameras not camera cameras cameras okay and uh, he used to choose which one is good for him and which one is not good for him yeah. so this is how actually he la- he started his life in photography yeah before i did this interview i sent a couple of questions to irfan yeah uh, kati ya kitu ambacho aliniambia nilipomuuliza kuhusu familia yake aliniambia he's very close to you yes uh, ata nilipomwambia kwamba because you cannot speak I will need you to come with someone and suggest you come please bring your brother cuz from what I read you guys were very a very close very mm. tight he said he owes his life to you mm. uh, what could you say about that do you think he looks up to you like you're the second dad to him uh yes he looks at, looks up at me and uh, I am just not his second father but I'm his father yeah and uh, It's uh, it's nice of him that he's uh, looking at up, looking up at me but uh, whatever he is is not because of me it is yeah. his own uh, work will. his own work. will it is on his own faith his hope i just was with him standing with him yeah did what i was supposed to do Unajua kuna 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 kamsemo fulani kwamba unampeleka farasi kwenda kunywa maji. Hiyo umeifanya wewe kumleta paka ile pond ya kunywa maji. Lakini kunywa huwezi kumlazimisha. So mimi nimefanya kazi ya kumleta hapa. Hiyo kazi ya kuifanya na kuikula au kuikunywa ilikuwa yeye sasa. So giving me credit is nice of him but uh, he is the one who has done it. So I would even suggest people like you know to look at him that it is him who has done all this. Yeah. I just put it in here. Chi, <laughs> you're such an amazing brother by the way. I can say that for him. <laughs> I think he wants to say that too. Uh akiwa tunaangali na miaka 21 Irfan alivuliwa na Wilson Cisis lakini tunaona safari yake hadi sasa ni mtu ambaye anaonesha kuwa strong a very courageous person lakini ni kuna story ya kujifunza ya kwamba chochote kinachotokea katika maisha yako usigiva hakikisha kwamba haukati tamaa kwa sababu maisha bado yanaendelea lakini tunaambia Irfan alikuwa ni mtu ambaye alikuwa active alikuwa mtundu na bado tuendelea kuona kwamba bado ana ile will na power kuendelea kufanya kile anachokitaka tuendelee kuangalia story yake tukijua sasa safari yake katika kazi ya muona fanya sasa hivi ya ufotografi ilianzaje alianza na simu tu lakini sasa ana kamera na anapiga picha watu mbalimbali including me amenifanyia photoshoot ambao mnaiona hapo ikiwa inapita tuone sasa safari yake ya photography ilikuwaje na hadi sasa alipofika what kind of cameras anazopendaje He, he started with uh, Canon Nikon uh, 7000 7100 and then uh, we got into Canon D Mark 4 right and then uh, he came to Sony and then you changed again Sony right so yeah then he he's now at Sony yeah and you may notice come wakati tunaongelea kuhusu the type of cameras ambazo anatumia he started smiling this just come this is something that he really really loves his passion about he's uh, he's obsessed yeah he's obsessed with cameras so can we can we say kwamba photography imemsaidia pia ku cope na ugonjwa wake aliyokuwa nao yes because uh, you know hiyo ugonjwa ukiwa umekaa peke yako itakufanya kwenda kwenye depression yeah na mimi kwa sababu nilikuwa very busy na work muda wote nilikuwa siwezi kumpa I, I traveling a lot so mimi he passion ya photography imemweka busy imem keep busy he is meeting a lot of people he is getting to know people 
and uh, this is how he has actually transformed his life, he has changed his life. So photography is not only his passion, but it is now his drug, yeah. a medicine to keep him moving and to have that hope, not that uh, everybody can do it. Like a serious profession. 2018? 18 years. So probably three years. Okay, three years. Yeah. That's nice. There's a smack on your inspiration. What are his inspiration? What are the people that he likes when it comes to photography? The people he admires. Ose. Ose. Okay. Ose. I don't know much about photography. <laughs> yeah, but, I understand uh, him. I know yeah. Ose. He's a good photographer. Is it Dutch? Is it? Is that an Indian? Yeah. I don't know that one. <laughs> he he looks up at his uh, he my cousin brother elder brother Ali Khan Walani. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, because Ali Khan is uh, my 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 aunt's son, and uh, we have all lived as real brothers and sisters, yeah. like you know, and uh, he is a professional photographer, so he is even. And his mentor, like he's the one actually, he's the one who teaches him yeah. when he's doing mistakes or where to improve or... So unfortunately, I would love to see Ali Khan here, but uh, he's, uh, yeah. he's busy with his schedule. But yes, uh, actually he even in photography, yes, he's looked up to him. Yeah. Please ask him what kinds of lenses he uses right now. <laughs> 85 mm. 85 mm. And what kind is it? Nikon, Canon? Sony. 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 Oh, you really seem like a Sony fan. <laughs> Sony for life. Sony for life. <laughs> Sony for life. Well, um, how could how could you describe family? How did family play a part in your life? Actually. Uh, Without uh, his, without family, he would not be there, yeah. and without him, he would not be there. Simple as like that. Yeah, like, uh, family is everything. Yeah, we are all uh, very close with each other. Uh, he is very close to my wife, his sister-in-law, yeah. and uh, his diet and everything has been taken care of uh, by her. By her and my mom, yeah. and. Uh, He's he's close to me, but he's more close to my wife. Yeah. Because, because uh, you're busy. Yeah, and yeah. then uh, he he things that they share they don't share with me. <laughs> so they're the two best friends. Yeah. So I have a friendship with him in a yeah. different way. Yeah. And he has a friendship with with her, uh, in, a with her in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Maybe let me ask. Um. Uh, right now, there are so many challenges that he must be passing through. Yes. Um. What are the challenges that he's passing through, especially in his work as a photographer? Because he's a unique photographer, I would say. Yeah. Uh, what challenges is he facing right now? His biggest challenge is his half body, which is disabled. This is the biggest challenge for him. So when he's doing a photography, yeah, we have to go with his pace. Mm. He has to adjust himself because of his hand, his legs. So that's the biggest challenge right now that he's facing. And uh, it's, it's unfortunately for us that uh, we are not able to do anything for him because his dead part is now on Almighty. Yeah. All medications are working, but he's still young. As per doctors uh, saying that yes, he could change. Even his disability could go away, yeah. because he's still young. So now, with medication, we even need prayers with him, so that he can recover 100%. Yeah. He's recovered 95%, yes. 
but his biggest challenge is his disability. Yeah. Well, Lisa Makumba Irfan is kind of the social butterfly yeah. of the family. Okay, that was before. Sasa sa hivi na ugonjwa ambao alikuwa nao, inawezekana anaweza kujaribu ku interact na watu lakini watu wasim receive kama ambavyo alitaka watu wa receive labda kutokana na ugonjwa wake. Je, anapitega changamoto hizo na huwa anafanya nini akikutana na watu kama hao? No, we are very fortunate about it. Yeah. That uh his uh whomever he's getting to know or his friends, they all respect him. So not only us but he's even fortunate about that that kuna binadam bad hope. Sio wote ambao wako kuna binadam bad hope. So uh, people do take him good. Wilson's disease ni ugonjwa ambao watu wengi hawajui. Pengine ameshawahi kufikiria kufanya kitu ku raise awareness au ku I don't know you know like mfano when people when you look at the small foundation she was born uh, they say how do they call them mtoto wake alizaliwa mapema yeah yeah alizaliwa mapema njiti wanaita njiti yeah. alizaliwa njiti and now she has a foundation for njiti is he planning to do something or make, create something that will help people just like him or look for people just like him and connect and has he ever seen or found another person like him because this disease is so unique we haven't found or he hasn't found anyone here in but yes but in india there are many okay and uh, uh he has thought of uh, raising an awareness but through his photography not through sickness yeah through his photography he's uh, he wants to he wants to bring this awareness to everyone that uh, disability should not stop you from your dreams that is what the awareness he wants to create yeah that anything that happens to you even if you get disabled does not mean that your dreams have died yeah so have faith have hope and believe in yourself because faith and hope we leave it on almighty believing is yourself yeah you need to believe yourself that yes i can do it kwa sababu unaenda kuswali kwa mungu kwamba nisaidie nivuke hiyo daraja lakini the attempt ya kuvuka daraja ni sio mungu yeah ni wewe so wakati ukibelieve ile hope na faith itaingia kumba yes kwa sababu nina hope na faith juu ya Mungu mimi nitapita hapa yeah so this is what the awareness he wants to create amongst people that yes do not lose hope live your life fully yeah. have faith that's the most important thing wewe kama kaka yake maisha yake mpaka sasa hivi yanakufundisha nini what lessons have you gotten from him what inspiration have you gotten from him three okay faith hope and belief faith hope and belief because uh, by looking at him i believe anybody can do it even if i get this suffering i will be able to do it yeah faith and hope his three things i have learned from him yeah are uh, in short could you give us a brief summary of wilson's disease or uh, what is it how it affects people the symptoms possible symptoms if people see it so that they could go to try and get some treatments uh, just a short brief of the disease wilson's disease is uh, excessive of copper in your body that includes your brain your spleen your kidney your eyes the first thing that you will start noticing in wilson's disease is you start getting blur vision and uh, your body will start getting stiff so that is the time you need to get checked for copper you know we have got many inside potassium copper yeah all type of elements are there 
copper, if it gets access to your body, is what you come to become like this. Yeah. See? So, Wilson's disease is, uh, is a disease that cannot be cured fully. Ata kama ukiwai, au kichelewa. That will affect your brain. Because inazidi kwenye brain yako. Yeah, so it can damage some of your vessels. So with him, his, his vessels are damaged. That is why, because he's become half disabled. Yeah. And uh, Wilson's disease comes from food. There are certain foods which are very excess in copper. Like? Like uh, chocolates. Mm -hmm. We all love chocolate. <laughs> we do. <laughs> there are shellfish. Shellfish are prawns, yeah. calamaris, those kind of fish. Normal fish have no problem with it. Okay. But shellfish, the fish that are from shell. Yeah. yeah those, any tin stuff, any tin stuff, artificial stuff, yeah. are full of copper. No soft drinks. All soft drinks are almost excess of copper. Coke is more. Okay. And Pepsi. So, and he was uh, very fond of having, uh, eating uh, cashew nuts, uh, ground nuts, yeah. peanuts with uh, Coke. So <laughs> that was even excess of copper. He used to love prawns. So all this food are, are not good in excess. I would suggest everyone should eat what should eat. Moderately. Moderately. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, we, we did not think that this, uh, this sickness will come from these foods. So any excess of food, any sickness will come. Yeah. So moderate is good. We well, spoken about his past, his present, and now let's speak about his future. Yeah. Uh, I've known him for three good years. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very single. <laughs> Are we looking forward to him marrying or something? Does he have those aspirations? Yeah, he has. And uh, we hope and pray and believe that... Uh, one day he'll get his uh, better half. Better half, <laughs> Mrs. Perfect. Yeah. That can actually understand him. And uh, rest is all on destiny. So, Mr. Single Guy, what's 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 your dream girl? Um, um, he doesn't do it. <laughs> okay. It's all on destiny. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, where should we? Where are we going to see Irfan in the next five years? Or where does he see, see himself in the next five years? And I don't know Fashion photographer. He's, he's looking at fashion photography. Fashion photography? Mm -hmm. At the top. top yeah. Awesome. So do you do uh, photographies for models, uh, events like Swahili Fashion Week and the like? Mm -hmm. No, he hasn't. He hasn't yet. I would suggest you to do that. That's a good way to make a breakthrough. They, yet, uh, he has not been invited. Okay. But uh, we hope that, yes, with time, uh, people will come to know yeah. that, uh, he, that he might get invited for that. Yeah. And that can give him an expo exposure. True. Well, I'd like to say thank you. But your friend and Nur Kalmari, <laughs> is Nur it Karim. Nur Karim? Yeah, yeah, you have quite a yeah. hard name. Nur Karim, na your friend, you pena kuashukuru kwa kungana na mimi siku ya leo for this exclusive interview. Tumemskia your friend na kakaake pia hapa wakiongelea kusu Wilson's disease. Like ni tumona story ya your friend ambao it's very inspirational. Na iki kwa si weo si kateta ma half hope, half faith. Labda siku moja na wewe utakuja kufanyika katika malengo yako lakini story kubwa ambayo imetoa hapa you have to have courage he had so many chances za kusema kwamba ni give up 
lakini harugi pamoja na leo tunamuona akiwa na kimbilia ndoto zake na wewe unatakiwa kimbilia ndoto zako kwani bado una nafasi bado una nguvu una afya na hii story nitakwenda wewe kuinspire kama mimi ilivyo ni inspire ni kuambia tu kwamba hii story pia utaweza kupata kwenye Insta scoop kwenye edition zetu lakini pia kwenye application yetu ya Pasha lakini kwenye channel yetu ya YouTube ya Mwananchi Digital mimi ni Detricia Pamba ambaye ni host wako leo tukutane siku nyingine katika exclusive nyingine asanteni